who the heck is this skinny guy with a funny last name and what the heck is he doing in the middle of this debate stage? Of a mill worker's son who dares to defy the odds. The hope of a skinny kid with a funny name who believes that America has a place for him too. I have a newsflash. The USSR does not exist anymore. It fell back in 1990. You said Russia in the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back because you know, the Cold War has been over for 20 years. Because for a long time, we have professional politicians in the Republican Party who have been running from something. Now is our moment to start running to something, to our vision of what it means to be an American today. If you have a broken car, you don't turn over the keys to the people who broke it again. You hand it over to a new generation to actually fix the problem. For 18 long months, you have stood up one by one and said enough to the politics of the past. You understand that in this election, the greatest risk we can take is to try the same old politics with the same old players and expect a different result. The Oval Office, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm there. It's so much more intimidating than if it was square. Opportunity knocks and I can't stop. I'm here with the president and my pops. And yo, the mic drops. How good is that? <laughs> that's, you think that's going viral?